Ah, hello there. Welcome back, everyone. And uh, before we head off to our next race, uh, let's check the standings. So Brad Keselowski's your current points leader. He's won a race, won at uh, Atlanta. Got some playoff points as well. Carl Larson, Kurt Busch, and then uh, here comes us after our win in Vegas. And Jimmy Johnson, Carl Busch, Martin Truex, Jamie McMurray, Casey Kane, and Chase Elliott round out your top 10. For the top 16 in the chase, you got uh, Junebug, Trevor Bain, my teammate Eric Almhirola, Matt Kenseth, Paul Menard, and Michael McDowell, the Daytona winner. So all is good over there. So let's check uh, the rivals. And as you see, Harvick and Danica are uh, starting to get not happy with us. Uh, everyone else is either neutral or they're good friends with us. Even Ricky Stenhouse is good friends with us, even though... Yeah, we won't go into that. Never mind that one. Kyle Busch is friends with us. <laughs> Kyle Busch is friends with nobody. Oh dear. So, uh, yes, the next race. Next race is the Camping World 500 from Phoenix International Raceway. Short track, so be a good time to test out what we're like uh, on the short track. So let's uh, get out there, get qualified, and uh, let's hope we can so do well. Here we are in the Valley of the Sun. There is the Smithfield 99 for the king and uh, yeah I reckon uh, I reckon we should be good at Phoenix in theory we should be good at Phoenix because uh, with the free star teams we were brilliant on short tracks and not so good on super speedways but you never know the only way we uh, know for sure is if we uh, get out there get our setup on and uh, get qualified, see how high up the uh, the grid we can go. So, here we go. See how this uh, works going into... Ooh, it certainly feels a lot more stable in uh, turn three and four. That uh, helps. Having to drop down into third gear through the corners doesn't uh, feel too bad. Oh yeah, nicely through three and four. This feels a hooked up lap. But it's only good for 29. Oh, it's amazing how laps can feel brilliant, but uh, in the end they get nowhere. So it's Jimmy Johnson on pole, Almarola starts 17th. So I think without further ado, let's uh, throw it over to PRN. Let's uh, get the Camping World 500 underway. Welcome to the Valley of the Sun, Phoenix International Raceway for today's Camping World 500. Today, PIR lives up to that nickname as temperatures are expected to reach the upper 90s when the green flag drops. We're ready to find out which driver will be able to manage this unique one-mile oval under those very tough conditions. There's no doubt. Drivers are definitely going to be feeling the NASCAR heat today. Nice pun. But uh, we're off and underway now. Oh, God, she's loose already. I don't know where we, st we are now, so we're last. So we're going to pass everyone. That, that move into turn one probably was ill-advised. Oh, 
went in very deep uh, turn one. So how good's the fuel? So we'll make it on the fuel. As we slide under DJ Keddington and Corey LeJoy. Nice paintwork on Corey LeJoy's car. Oh, I like that. That looks badass. Whoop, into the back of Earnhardt. The less talented Earnhardt, that is. Side by side with Earnhardt, we took Sadler below the yellow line, but that's a uh, fair game here at Phoenix. Oh, did you see him? He just... Earnhardt just snatched our nose. That was nice of him. the outside of Corey Le inside of a Corey Le Joy, I should say, but they've got so much speed off the corner. Ah, we're under Earnhardt finally, so we're slowly starting to make positions. I think that could be the uh, story here, because, uh... Oh, Timmy Hill. Timmy Hill thought about a move, but then thought better of it as we get under the dinger. We're seven seconds behind the leader, who I assume will still be Jimmy Johnson. Oh, who was that getting all kinds of loose in the middle of the corner? Whoever he was, he dicked up the field there. As we go free wide with Bain and Chris Busher. And run out to 23rd. Thought we were going to get knocked to better depth there. We just snapped a little loose. That'll put us under pressure from Chris Buscher. Oh, sorry, Ricky Wreckhouse. And here comes Ricky Wreckhouse. He's got Dave, David Reagan right behind him. We'll give uh, Ricky Wreckhouse a little nudge on the outside. That's uh, Robin's racing. He'll try and blame me, I'll try and blame him. Ten to go in this stage, all under Matt De Benedetto. Good move. That was a very good move there. I don't think we got the credit for that one. So now we're at the Daniel Suarez. And then there's a bit of a gap to the next car. Ooh, I got into the wall into Suarez and the caution's out. That completely my fault, that one. Right. We're going to play a little strategy here. We're going to pit. I'm going to see if we can try and make this stage and the next stage. We may make it, we may not. Don't know what happened there. Somebody's already bit the dust. Who's that? Oh, right under the yellow line there. I don't think that's legal. Cole Whit uh, getting all kinds of loose. I wonder if it's Jeff Earnhardt in the pits. may have enough to make uh, this stage and the next stage, but uh, we may not. As 
We're going to Pulmonard and uh, Elliot Sadler, free wide. We're using Trevor Bain to help us out there. Under the dinger. Carr tried to snap loose. No, there's Jeff Earnhardt. Into the side of Chris Busher, the car's just when you spin the tires, it's spinning loose. It's not quite how I want to drive this car. That's us out. And we'll finish the stage 30 seconds. Well, that was always going to happen, that. Right, so we have to pit again. To repair the damage. So good, though, it's Kevin Harvick that's out. 13 down, rip you, Harvick. Now, I'm going to keep it easy this time. We've got 17 left in this stage. They've got to make another stop yet. And we can make it into the next stage. Na 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 na. So the key is just sit back here nice and easy. And then when they uh, come in, pounce. We could pick up the odd position here and there. That'd be brilliant. If we don't hit the wall. Didn't think you could run the Larson line at Phoenix but apparently you can. Apparently somewhere kids eat free, according to Elliot Sadler's car. We'll pick up Sadler's position, we're 37. Side of Cole Whit now, they're gonna go free wide in a minute. Ooh, Earnhardt checked up then. And the outside of Corey LaJoy, that's gonna work just. Be interested to see whose strategy works in the end. Will it be my strategy? Or will it be their strategy? Got close to DJ Kennington there. We're gonna hold off DJ Kennington and take another place. And now come up to Ty Dillon in the Geico car. He's got Michael McDowell with him. Who won the Daytona race, if you remember. That's our first running down the bottom. Now, they're taking that unusual line into Turn 1 here. 
Does that mean what I think that means? So we can go around the outside of Ty Dillon. We look like we can. We're coming up to the back of Paul Bernard. Around the outside of Menard, see if De Benedetto will give us some uh, drafting help. We've got a hoo-ha going up at the uh, front here. As we try to go around De Benedetto, that's not going to work. But now we clear De Benedetto, or do we? Not quite. We will clear in a minute, though. Now up to the back of the Dinga. Ah, there's some cars pitting. That's what I like to see, some cars pitting. Did Dinga pit? No, Dinga didn't pit. So who's our leader at the minute? It is Jimmy Johnson. That was a useful car to put a lap down. And now, the Wood Brothers, sorry, Richard Petty Motorsport, on his ultimate strategy, has found himself in the lead. Hell yeah! That's what we like to see. Now how far back are they? Well, actually, some of them have not pitted yet. They're only a lap down. Oh, Jimmy Johnson giving us a tap. So it's clear they're faster. But now Corey LaJoy and DJ Kennington are pitted. It just gets a little loose when we uh, spin the tyres up. That's not what we uh, kind of need there. And it's especially bad out of... Uh, one and two. And the yellow has come out and we've won stage number two. All right. Okay, so to keep everybody a lap down, we're not going to pit. But Jimmy Johnson has got the free pass. But he's down at the back of the field. So we're going green. No, I think my strategy is going to pay off here. Somebody's screaming at the screen right now. You should have pitted. 
39 to go. If I can make this fuel, oh no, I can't. Oh, we're gonna need a caution. <laughs> Because the fuel runs 24 laps, oh dear. You can blame me, I'm gonna keep blaming on that back. How are the tyres looking? Oh, well, the tyres are not looking too bad. If I can keep it in fourth gear throughout a turn two, that should help. Not spin the tyres up. But it's all about if we can do that. Best lap ever, apparently. If we do drop to third gear, we've got to keep it nice and smooth. Now, who's this coming up uh, behind me in the Alta car? That might be. Is that Junebug? It is Junebug. Ah, oh, Junebug's got speed. Junebug's got speed and we've not. But it just seems to me we just cannot, as goes Blaney, we cannot, for the life of us, I don't think we're going to the back of Blaney there. Didn't feel like it. Here comes uh, Spirit Guru Brad. Little oh, Robin on Blaney. We'll put him back a lap down. Oh, this could benefit from some new tyres, I tell you. Any moment now that dash light's gonna be coming on. Have to good drop down to third, there goes Blaney and Brad. Oh she's all kinds of tight. fuel. So I think we can do one more. Denny Hamlin uh, giving us a push. Oh look at that win out of the cork in the bottle. Here goes Eric Joe. No Kenseth. Newman. Hamlin. Yeah I think we can do one more lap and then uh, 
hit. Just coast around. Right, so we're gonna come in. So we made that. Right, now what do we do? Do we want to loosen it up too much? No, I think we'll just keep everything as it is. We lost uh, Elliot Sadler as well, rip him. So come on, one of the good stuff from the crew, four freshies. Fill her up. And let's get back out on our way. Look at this team, they're the best of the best. 14-9. Yo, that was slick. So where do we come out? 25 laps of the fuel. Come out in P38. I think we're a lap down, yes. But four freshies, that feels good. see where we can go so looks like Kennington Earnhardt there on our lap twenty five to go I tell you what that's close to making it if we can save fuel Oh, that's close to making it, isn't it? At the moment, we're what? Half a lap short, I think. In fact, no, we're about a lap and a half short. So uh, we're going to have to save like mad to make this. Speaking of DJ Kennington, here he is. So he's going to be the first car we need to pass. How bad are you going to give me that position, DJ? Robin, you give me that position very cleanly, thank you very much. And now we're just a lap short on the fuel. See, my worst case scenario is... They get the you-know-what, because if they get a you-know-what... I don't think we make it. Well, we make it. But then we'll get trapped. We don't want to be trapped. Thank you for letting us have that position, uh, Timmy. I imagine Joey's gonna, oh he is gonna give me that position, that's nice of you Joey. You're gonna make me fight for it, aren't you? Now there's some cars on pit road here. Let's 
Let's have a look. I think one of them was Jimmy Johnson. So I think anyone from here, can they make it? Yeah, they can make it. It's all a case of if we get past Jimmy. If we can get past Jimmy... Quite cycled to the lead. Jimmy John. Oh, Jimmy Johnson didn't pit as pitted. He stayed in the. Oh dear. Well, we didn't need that. We trapped everyone else a lap down, but we didn't trap Jimmy, Jimmy Johnson. Oh, that kind of sucks. becomes a case of can we keep Brad behind us? Fourteen laps to keep Brad behind us. And we must be close to making it on fuel. Ah, uh, that does suck. So we were less of I was saying we're going to get a second chance with uh, Mr. Johnson. Unfortunately, that's brought everybody into play now, so we're not going to pit. So front row start, myself and uh, Double J, seven time Jimmy Johnson, front row. Show sure about what ten to go when we come across the line. Wow, we got a lightning start. Now, if we can stay there. If we can stay there. But around Phoenix, that's not easy. Because I'm better in three and four, they're better in one and two. I reckon if I can stay ahead of Johnson through one and two. The rest is gonna be history, but it's, oh, it's gonna be mighty close, I tell you. Car was snapping loose on me. Ooh, where's Jimmy going? We're gonna block him. Here comes Kislowski. You can't block two lanes at the same time. That's that's a Ricky Stenhouse dick move. Or maybe I can. Oh, 
Brad, oh Brad. Brad. Me and me and Brad make contact. Me and Kenseth make contact. Right, get back down on the bottom. <laughs> Matt Kenseth might win this race. Well, that's going to be the best I've drove turn one all day. Look how close I am to Kenseth. Give him two rubs there. And we've retaken the lead off Kenseth. No, he's taken the lead back. But it should be a turn three job. <laughs> now who's this coming up fast? That's Newman. Oh, here's a new player, Truex Jr. Here's Newman. I think we've just corked the bottle. <laughs> Tires have gone. Oh, who? That was McMurray with a dick move. We get an 8th place finish. What a dick move by McMurray! Complete dick move. So it was Ryan Newman that won the race. Danica got a 13th place finish. I didn't think I could lose that many spots because uh, I think a lot of them still left down. I think what we'd have probably finished top ten. Yeah, we'd have got a top ten. Almirola got a twelfth place finish, but uh, yeah, I'm not happy with Murray after that uh, dick move. I'll have a word with him in the garage. There's that move again. He just Ugh. oh well. Twelve and a half million in earnings. Not bad. Cool. So yeah, we set the fastest lap, but uh, that don't mean Jack here, unfortunately. Jimmy Johnson, the dominant car all day. We were the car on the move, and I imagine Carvick is about to be tough luck. No, it's Blaney. Oh well. Right, let's see what's waiting for us on Twitter then. Ooh, three great finishes in the row. We have momentum, which would be good for Texas, I think. Joey Logano with a message. You've had, You've a, had string a string of, of solid, solid finishes. finishes. You're, You're climbing, climbing up, up those standings. standings. Thank you, Joey. And another message from Joey. You've been, You've been doing, doing really, really well, well out there. there. Your, Your whole, whole team, team is on, is on fire. fire. Keep, Keep the, the momentum, momentum going. going. Could you not uh, just have put that in the same message, Joey? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a bit love struck now. Unbelievable. At Rockstar Pool 69 just got to a million fans. That is an amazing milestone. 
Hashtag RockstarPool69 is a superstar. Oh, Danica. I love you. Ah, right, so what's next? Oh, it's not. It's Auto Club next. Ha <laughs> ha, that speed boost to be good for Auto Club. Good, good. Uh, so it's the Auto Club 400 next. So before we go there. Oh, now Suarez doesn't like me. Oh, okay. How can, how can McMurray be neutral when he nutted into me? I still can't believe the Bush brothers are friendly with me. Is it going to be the case of the Bush brothers, the most hated drivers around, are the only ones that are going to like me? <laughs> anyway, on to uh, next race, which will be the Auto Club 400 from Auto Club Speedway in Fontana, California. So uh, join us for that on the next one. So thank you all for watching. Hope you uh, all enjoyed that rather entertaining race. And we shall see you free wide into victory lane on the next video. So uh, remember to leave a like, uh, leave a comment if you have any problems or if you would generally enjoyed this video. And uh, we'll see you next time.